We all know that the Renegade Raider, Aerial Assault Trooper, OG School, OG Ghoul and the OG Battle Passes will never return. And for emotes, Free Silent, Fresh, Floss, Introducing, Scenario and Tidy will never return as well as some others. So the question is, which rare emotes and skins will eventually come back for everyone to buy? That's what I'm going to be covering in this video, so if you do enjoy it, make sure you drop a like and subscribe if you're new. Also, comment down below which items are you going to buy when they do return. But let's get straight into it. Starting it off with Crazy Boy, the rarest Icon Series emote in the game. This hasn't been out in over 500 days, however, I'm pretty sure it will just come back one day randomly. Or maybe when they do a collaboration with the same people as last time. Then we have Llama Kadabra. A lot of people don't even know this is getting rare. It's not been out in over 400 days and it was 800 V-Bucks, so less people bought it. Vivacious, not been out in around 900 days now, I think. One of the rarest item shop emotes in the game. Not sure why it hasn't came back. But also, it's not been updated, so who knows when it's going to return, but it will one day. Then there's Bombastic. This has been teased quite a lot. I feel like it's going to return soon, maybe in the next rare item shop streak. Such a fire emote though, I do really like this one a lot. Then we have Busy. I don't even know why this is getting rare, but it's not been out in over like 500 days as well. Cartwheeling, however, was recently just updated, so there is plans for this emote to be returning. You know, it could take a couple months for it to come back, but this one is 100% gonna return soon. Then there's Fandangle. This one still hasn't been updated, but I don't think there's any copyright issues or nothing like that, so, you know, I'm sure it's gonna return one day, but for now it is very rare. Then we have Glyphic. I know a lot of people, I know a lot of you guys watching this right now want this emote to return. It is very good, the music is clean. Again, it has been teased a lot, it was updated a long time ago, and it was used in an LTM as well, so I'm not sure why this emote hasn't returned already. It's complicated, I don't think this one will be returning, um, I just thought I'd quickly mention that. But Lazy Shuffle should be coming back one day, it was updated, one of the NPCs last chapter actually did this emote, so Epic definitely haven't forgot about it, and you know, they have used it, so we could see it return soon. Then there's Pick It Up. Don't get me started on this emo, I really want it to return, I love the music. But it's not been updated, which means it's probably not going to return anytime soon. In fact, it's one of the only rare emotes in the game that hasn't been updated. That doesn't mean it can't return, but it just means it's probably not going to happen. Then there's Picking, last seen over 300 days ago. Not sure why this one's getting rare. Primo Moves is also considered getting rare now, but Pure Soul hasn't been out in around 400 days, so yeah pretty much a rare emo. Raw is an emo I'm actually confused about because although it's not been updated, one of the NPCs on the map actually do this dance, so maybe it can just randomly come out without being updated, who knows, but yeah, it's very rare. Then we have Slap Happy, last seen over 500 days ago now. This emo hasn't been updated, but I don't think it needs to be as it did come out in chapter 2. It also only released 6 times, so there wasn't many chances to buy this one and a lot of people do want it to return as well. There were some rumours saying it was a St. Patrick's Day emote, but it didn't come back for St. Patrick's Day and it wasn't updated for St. Patrick's Day either. So this actually could become one of the rarest shop emotes in the game if it doesn't come back anytime soon. Then there's Slick, last seen around 400 days ago as well. Last time this came out, it was in a locker bundle and normally when emotes come out in locker bundles, they don't return by themselves. So Slick will return one day, but I'm not sure if it's going to be with that locker bundle or by itself. But until then, it is getting pretty rare now. Snow Day, however, is actually one of the rarest item shop emotes from Chapter 2 Season 1. As you guys know, it didn't return this winter, so yeah, hardly anybody has it. Pretty decent emote though, and I don't have it, so maybe it'll come back next year. Zombie Shambles is kind of the same thing. It didn't come back at Halloween, it was only in the shop once, so it is very rare, and yeah, hardly anybody has it because it only came out once. And I'm actually one of those people that don't have it, so shout out to Epic for not bringing it back. Now I have to wait another year in order to get it. Then we have Sprinkler. This was updated ages ago, and I feel like it's going to return this summer, to be honest. It's a very good summer emote, the music is good, and yeah, it's probably going to return soon. Spyglass, one of the rarest emotes in the game. It only came out three times, almost 900 days ago. Another emote, unfortunately, I don't have, and I really like it, so hopefully it returns soon. They use this emote in like five different trailers, so there's no way it just doesn't come back within the next two months. Then there's Switch Step. This used to be in the 30 day rotation. It came out like 14 times, but then it just never came back and it got rare. I know quite a lot of people have this one, but also a lot of people want it to return for the music because yeah, it's got good music. 
It was updated a while ago and in my opinion it might return in the summer, definitely has summer vibes. Then there's Tuss, only came out twice around 900 days ago. It's actually from Season X which I'm not sure people realise. But again, hardly anybody has this, pretty much only people who collect bought it. This also has been updated and can return at any point. Then we got another uncommon emote, Hang On, last seen around 500 days ago from Season X. Not sure why it's getting rare, but do you have this one? And finally for the emotes, there's Kiss the Cup. The reason why I'm saying it could come back is because this isn't a part of the World Cup set. Unlike the skins, they said limited time, so they're not going to return. The emote possibly can come back if there's a World Cup 2 or I don't even know, but it can come back. It was updated as well, but I think their reason for that was so they could use the confetti in the bugger emo. Moving on to skins, there is a lot of rare item shop skins in the game. So I'm gonna go over the really rare ones, which a lot of people want to return. For example, these four Star Wars ones right here. They've all not been out in over 700 days. I'm starting to think, will they ever come back? But to be honest, I'm sure they will one day. It's just a matter of time. Then there's Dante. This one didn't return at Halloween, which is why it's getting so rare now. It's also 1500 V-Bucks and I feel like not many people bought it. Probably gonna return next Halloween. Then we have Dio from Chapter 2 Season 3. People don't even know this skin exists. Like, why did this even release? Literally nobody bought this. I hardly ever see it. I think I've seen it once, to be honest. Such a forgotten skin in Fortnite. Then there's Dreamflower. I mean, I don't know why the hair's glitched, but either way, this skin hasn't been out for a long time now. Kind of gives me summer vibes, so it might return in the summer. Freestyle, this one was updated. It has two styles. I like this one right here, the green one. It's actually not been out in over 900 days, so it is therefore one of the rarest item shop skins. Not sure why it hasn't returned, but it is going to come back one day. Then there's the Hazard Agent. The male version of the skin did return, but the female one didn't, which is why it's really rare and in this video. Hotwire from Season X. This one was also updated, I think. Not been out in such a long time. Hardly anybody has this skin. But it is actually really unique, and I feel like it's slept on. Like, nobody speaks about this. Then there's Plague and also Scourge. Both haven't returned two years in a row. But the reason why I'm mentioning them is because I think they're going to return this year at Halloween. Then we have Renegade Shadow. This skin was recently used in the most recent trailer to promote the no building thing. It also does match the entire season, so I feel like this skin might might be coming back soon. Then there's this one right here, not been out in over 800 days. A lot of people don't even know it exists as well. Then we have Sterling. Literally nobody has ever told me they liked his skin. So if you like it, let me know in the comments. But this is so rare, like nobody has this, nobody wears this, but it's gonna return one day. Then there's Aeronaut from Season X, part of the Skystalker set. Airhead, so this was introduced in Season 9, but it didn't actually come out in Season 9, it came out much later than that. But I'm pretty sure it only released in the item shop a couple of times, and then it never returned. Very unique skin though, very colourful, and I actually do like this one a lot. Then there's Bigfoot, this one's getting rare, Cypress Snail, Demogorgon, part of the Stranger Things set. Hasn't been out in over 800 days, but again, I'm sure it might return one day. Depth Dealer, I really want this skin, part of the Ocean Water set from Chapter 2 Season 1. Super, super rare. I've only ever seen this in game one time. Farmer Steel, First Strike Specialist. Then there's Fortune, part of the Sharp Style set, which is the same set as the Studded Axe. Infiltrator, one of the rarest item shop skins. King Crab, I never see this one as well. Very rare shop skin. Limelight, she was recently updated and her pickaxes did actually come to the item shop. So I'm not sure why they brought out the pickaxes but not the skin, but yeah, for that reason, it's still very rare right now. Redux from Chapter 2, Season 2, kinda reminds me of Midas. Then there's Rue. This came to the shop once or twice, I believe, in Chapter 2, Season 2. There was a lot of controversy when the skin released. I'm pretty sure that's why it hasn't came back. But in my opinion, Epic should just release it because the skin is perfectly fine. And I know a lot of people do want this one to return as well. Then we have Trench Raider from Chapter 2, Season 1. Terror, Tech, Swamp Stomper. Such a unique skin. I really like this one. Then there's Special Forces, one of the most OG item shop skins from Season 1. This used to come out quite a lot because there wasn't many skins in the game but it's not been out in over 1000 days now and it is very rare but it's gonna return one day then we have sled from season x i think i know one person with this skin it's very very rare like when do you have this it just looks like an io god but it has been updated and the pickaxe for it did come out so we might see the skin soon then there's trench trawler chapter 2 season 3 vector from season 9 wave ripper wiretap hardly anybody has this one as well 
Cole, this one was updated and it kind of matches the new season. So I feel like this one could return at any time. Munitions Major, Scout, Tango, and also Trooper. So you guys can pretty much expect all of these skins to return at one point. It's just a matter of time, to be honest. And hopefully you guys can all get the skins you want. So that is going to be all for this video. If you guys did enjoy this one, you might also enjoy these ones on screen. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.